Ask yeah. Jim Keller of what 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 in your view is consciousness? With with consciousness? Yeah, like what uh, you know, uh, consciousness, uh, love, things that are these deeply human things that seems to emerge from our brain. Is that something that we'll be able to make encode in chips yeah, that get faster and faster and faster and faster? That's like a ten-hour conversation. No, nobody really knows. Can right? you summarize it in a couple of a couple of words? Sentences? Um, many people have observed that organisms run at lots of different levels, right? If you had two neurons, somebody said you'd have one sensory neuron and one motor neuron, right? So we move towards things and away from things, and we have physical integrity and safety or not, mm -hmm. right? And then if you look at the animal kingdom, you can see brains that are a little more complicated. And at some point there's a planning system and then there's an emotional system that's you know, happy about being safe or unhappy about being threatened. Right, and then our brains have massive numbers of structures, you know, like planning and movement and thinking and feeling and drives and emotions. And we seem to have multiple layers of thinking systems. And we have a brain, a dream system that nobody understands whatsoever, which I find completely hilarious. And you can think in a way that those systems are more independent and you can observe you know the different parts of yourself can observe them i don't know which one's magical i don't know which one's not computational so is it possible that it's all computation probably is there a limit to computation i don't think so do you think like the, the universe is a computer uh, like know, you it seems to be it's a weird kind of computer because if it was a computer Right, like when they do calculations on what it, how much calculation it takes to describe quantum effects is unbelievably high. Right. So if it was a computer, wouldn't you have built it out of something that was easier to compute? Right, that's that's a funny, it's a funny system. But then the simulation guys have pointed out that the rules are kind of interesting. Like when you look really close, it's uncertain. And the speed of light says you can only look so far mm -hmm. and things can't be simultaneous except for the odd entanglement problem where they seem to be. Like the rules are all kind of weird. Yeah. And somebody said physics is like having 50 equations with 50 variables to define 50 variables. Like, you know, it's, it's you know, like physics itself has been a shit show for thousands of years. It seems odd when you get to the corners of everything. You know, yeah. it's either uncomputable or undefinable or uncertain. It's almost like the designers of the simulation are trying to prevent us from understanding yeah. it perfectly. But but also the the things that require calculations require so much calculation that our idea of the universe of a computer is absurd because every single little bit of it takes all the computation in the universe to figure out. So, so, do you, so that's a weird kind of computer. You know, you say the simulation is running in a computer, yeah. which has, by definition, infinite computation. Not infinite. Oh, you mean if the universe is infinite? Very, well, yeah. Oh, well, well it's every large. little piece of our universe seems to take infinite computation to Not figure infinite, out. Just a lot. Well, a lot's a pretty big number. Compute this little teeny spot takes all the m mass in the local one light year by one light year space. It's yeah. close enough to infinite. So. Oh, it's a heck of a computer if it is one. I know it's 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 a weird it's a weird description because the simulation description seems to to break when you look closely at it. But the rules of the universe seem to imply something's up. <laughs> that seems a little arbitrary. Question and uh, let me try to take it apart, unpack it into several pieces. I don't believe that wetware biology, such as we are, has an exclusive uh, patent on in, on intellect and consciousness. I suspect that other structures in the universe are perfectly capable of producing the data streams that we use to process. First of all, our observations of the universe and and an awareness of ourself. I, I can imagine other structures can do that also. So that's part of what you were talking about, which I would uh, have some disagreement with. Consciousness. Yes. What's the most interesting part of consciousness of uh, us humans? Is consciousness is the thing? I think that's the most interesting thing about humans. And then you're saying that there's other entities throughout the universe. I could imagine. I can well imagine that the architecture that supports our consciousness, again, has no patent on consciousness. Just a 
in case you have an interesting thought here, there's uh, folks perhaps in philosophy called panpsychists that believe consciousness underlies everything. It is one of the fundamental laws of the universe. Do you have a sense that that could possibly fit into physics? I model? don't know the answer to that question. One part of uh, that belief system is Gia, which is uh, that there's a kind of conscious life force about our planet. And, you know, I've encountered these things before. I don't quite know what to make of them. I, my own exp life experience, and I'm, I'll be 69 in about two months, and I have spent all my adulthood thinking about the way that mathematics interacts with uh, nature and with us to try to understand nature. And all I can tell you from all of my integrated experience is that there is something extraordinarily mysterious to me about our universe. This is something that Einstein said uh, from his life experience as a scientist. And this mysteriousness almost feels uh, like the universe is our parent. It's a very strange thing, perhaps, to hear science say, scientists say, but there are just so many strange coincidences that you just get a sense that something is going on. Before we dive into beautiful details, let me ask a big question. What to you is the most beautiful idea, maybe the most surprising or mysterious idea in physics? The most surprising idea to me is that we can actually do physics. Uh, the universe did not have to be constructed in such a way that our, with our limited intellectual capacity, that is actually uh, uh, put together in such a way and that we are put together in such a way that we can, with our mind's eye, delve incredibly deeply into the structure of the universe. That to me is pretty close to a miracle. So they're simple equations, relatively simple, that can describe things, you know, the fundamental functions. They can describe everything about our reality. That's not, can you imagine universes where everything is a lot more complicated? Do you, do you think there's something inherent about universes <laughs> that well, simple laws... Right. Well, first of all, let me, uh, this is a question that I encounter in a number of guises. A lot of people will raise the question about whether mathematics is the language of the universe. And my response is, mathematics is the language that we humans are capable of using in describing the universe. It may have little to do with the universe, but in terms of our capacity, it's the microscope, it's the telescope through which we, it's the lens through which we are able to view the universe with a precision that no other human language allows. So could there be other universes? Well, I don't even know if this one looks like I think it does.